Hello again. In this video, we're going to continue our look at the Code Snippets panel. This time, we're going to introduce how to do drag and drop using the Code Snippets that are part of Flash Professional CS5. Now, with drag and drop, I have a couple things that I have to remember to do. I have an object that I need to create in the stage, and then I need to apply the, the action from the Code Snippets panel. When we, did this by, uh, when we did this by hand in the past, we had to remember to use the start drag and stop drag actions. Luckily, the code snippets contain all of that action script for us. So let's go ahead and select the object that we want to start doing the drag and drop on the stage. In this case, again, it's the object that I've named blue square. To apply the drag and drop, I'm going to take the uh, code snippet and then apply that with the object selected. It's going to take the instance name that I've, of the object that I've selected and insert that into the key areas of the code. So if we take a look at the code, you'll see that there are a couple of events that have been created for me. It's taken the blue square object and it's added a new event listener. In this case, the mouse down event. And then it's executing a specific, um, a specific action. In this case, this click to drag. And that event handler is accepting the mouse event and then it's beginning the drag of that particular object. We then add another event. In this case, we're attaching it to the stage, which is mouse up. When we do this, we're going to then execute the release to drop, and then execute the function, which is going to then apply stop drag. So let's go ahead and play this and see what we have. So I can click, and I can start dragging the object around. So this is something that you know you, you might have to might have to use to actually test how the object is going to, uh, to to play around on the screen based on the mouse events. Now we covered a couple other examples where I wanted to test what would happen when I release the mouse. Luckily, the code snippet gives us the framework for doing all of that automatically. So let's go ahead and put in some code to test what the position of the object is going to be. So I can say if blue square x is greater than 50, then I want to execute some code. Let me just put a trace tape in here. That's going to be object moved to the right side. Okay, and go ahead and save this and then run it. And if I drag it over to the right, you'll see that the, that the code displays. So that's an example of how to use drag and drop using the code snippets that are part of Flash Professional CS5. We're going to continue looking at more code snippets that are, that are going to allow us to, to find more actions in our action script code in the next video.